Hey there, everybody, and welcome back to more Yu-Gi-Oh! It's me, Cooper, and today we're in a brand new area called Civilization. I call it Lava Land. And we're gonna have some fun here because we got some op- Holy shit. No, I see the Civilization now. Uh, we got some interesting opponents here. We're gonna start off with Firefox, though, because he's close. How are you doing? Or Foxfire, my bad. Uh, let's go ahead and duel, buddy. Row, 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 rah, 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 yeah, yeah. All right, uh, he knows how to duel, but he can't talk. That's fine. We might finally be able to make some money off of our opponents. Oh, crap, unless they just beat me because I, I cannot win those rock, paper, scissors. I swear to God. What is up with that? Oh, cool background. I really like this background. That is nice. All right, Molten Destruction. Oh, well, that's, uh, hmm. that's a problem. I used to run that card. That's a problem. All right, I have some interesting ideas in my mind. Oh, they, they're getting more interesting. Um, yep, I have some interesting ideas. Um, all that matters is I don't get hit by Heavy Storm. And all these ideas will work. Shit, that's the same thing. Is that the... Please tell me that's... Oh, it's Wabaku. I can live with that. I can live with Wabaku getting hit. I didn't want it to get hit, but I'd rather that get hit than... Yeah, my other one. Yes, I'm liking this even more now. You know what? That could be a problem. I don't want to lose Voice Raider or MST. Hey, this is why you still run Gyroid, folks. So he could die. And now we Magic Cylinder to cancel the attack. There we go. And we're going to make you hurt yourself quite a lot. And then we're going to Ukazi you to death. Okay, we're just going to do that. And we're going to set that. Alright. In turn. Let's see how our opponent reacts to this situation. Interesting. Getting more interesting. I will allow that to happen. That's what I wanted. I'm kind of curious why you're going for that. Alright, I got you down, and then now I just gotta negate your other two attacks and beat the crap out of you. And then I win. Alright, yep, we're not letting that happen. Alright. No traps? Good. I need one more monster card. Damn. Okay, that didn't work. Huh, that did not work. Okay, Vorse Raider hits the field. I gotta make a decision. Do I? You know what? I can win by Ukazi. I'm gonna MST now. Normally, you'd wait till their phase and then do it on them, which would surprise them. But yeah, we're gonna be in a weird situation. So this is what we're gonna do instead. We're gonna get them super low on life points. And then it's all up to us top decking a 1500 beater monster, which most Amazonas cards are. And we win the duel. I do not care. I could care less. I cared about that. That ruined it. Okay, he had two field spells. That sucks. Okay, I have to think of a new idea. The only idea I can think of now is I top deck Jinzo. And then I kill Inferno. That is the only idea I can think of. Or I draw Okazi. <laughs> My one guy. Oh, he put in defense mode. Shit. Oh, Sangan. Okay, Sangan can help me. I'm going to need help. We're going to take some 1500 burn, and then the rest is fine. Okay. Okay. How do I do this? How do I do this? I do not run Cannon Soldier, which honestly he would... Oh, I lost. That's it. The ultimate baseball kid ends the duel. Oh, wait. Nope. He attacked with that. He attacked with his 4000 attack point monster. Now Inferno should hit the other one. I still lose. They could just do the freaking burn effect. None of this matters. Ah, none of this matters. I can't summon two monsters in one turn. Swordswoman wins me the duel. I would have won, but Ultimate Baseball Kid's going to end this duel. Yep. Mixed with a little Inferno burn. Damn. Okay, well, that basically is the Pyro deck, funny enough. And we're going to take 2,900, and we're going to take uh, 2,100. Actually, we died from the attacks and alone. Damn, he got ultimate baseball kit and two field spells. I feel like he got everything he needed, because I would have won the next turn. I had everything I needed one turn too late. All right, you got every answer. I can respect that. It was a good back and forth. Give me, give me another duel against that fox. Where is he? He's hiding from me. Oh, there's Luster Dragon? What the hell? Ew, in the factory. It appears to be asking you about why you came here. I came to duel. In response? Okay, the dragon's coming after me. 
A Dragon's Way. So a Dragon deck should be horrifying. I cannot win the Rock, Paper, Scissors. And going second is how I lost the last duel. I'm not even joking. I would have won it for the last duel if I would, would have been the one to go first. With that open. Oh, there's Ukazi. Now I see you. Damn. All right. Element Dragon cannot take advantage of me, luckily, but the trap card can. So we got to watch out for the trap, but otherwise we're in a good spot. All right. Let's see if this works. Trap card. All right. Let's see if this works. Trap card. No trap card. All right. Element Dragon is dealt with. I'm sure his best card is Mass Dragon, or at least his most useful card is. I guess we're going to Ukazi. A card I wish I topped at last duel, but we'll try again next time. There we go, there we go, and turn. No way you could beat me unless you get Luster Dragon, and that's what you're trying to do. Oh yeah, you are trying to get Luster Dragon, okay. And there he is, you got yourself. Oh no, wait a minute. No, not Magic Cylinder, really? Oh, that thing turned out to be really helpful to you. Uh, at least both my traps can stop the attack, but it's still not a good situation. Oh, crap. Well, that actually helps quite a bit. I'm going to summon Amazon a Spider. I uh, don't normally do this, but we're going to use Spellcaster so I don't have to sacrifice my Paladin. And we're going to give it to the Fighter. Now I have two monsters with 1900 attack. And you have a monster with 15. So my Amazonas combo goes off. And now I am barely strong enough to fight another Luster Dragon if they draw another one. But losing my freaking Magic Cylinder was pretty big. One of the best traps in my deck, and it's just gone. All right, we're going to end our turn there, and we're going to see what our opponent has to say about it. Yep, doing it all over again. Oh, you like that card. That one's Luster Dragon, isn't it? No, it isn't. Why'd you keep it, though? What is it? You're scaring me. <laughs> Don't you get it? You're scaring me. All right, I'm just going to set this. We're going to have Paladin try to destroy the face down. Oh, oh. Oh, you're a good dragon deck. You just didn't get Mass Dragon. Well, now I know when I fight Luster Dragon again, if I fight Luster Dragon again. Um, I felt like in the last area, I only fought everyone like once or twice. Like, it was not, not that much. Granted, there was a ton of enemies, though. You bitch. You actual bitch. It's not Man-Ear Bug. I don't have to kill myself, but... I draw... Oh, I knew it. I was going to say, I, I have a lot of spells to get rid of spells and traps, so we're good. Oh, thank God. Thank you, God. Let's just win this duel and let's get the hell out of here. Yes, Luster Dragon. Okay, I got a victory. I couldn't beat the Pyro deck, surprisingly, but I did lose to this. I mean, I did beat this. Whoops. <laughs> Luster Dragon, get wrecked. The only damage I took was from your burn card. 180 points uh, just from winning the fight, so... About 200 bucks every duel, which is going to be okay. Uh, there's that Golem card. I want to rematch with Foxfire. I know I can beat him. I just need to go first, and then I win. Alright, let's see. To go first, I'm going to go with Paper. See, I can't do it. Oh, but he's nice. Okay. he wants, He's like, oh, that, that's all you need? Prove it. <laughs> that's all you need, then prove it. Alright, let me prove it to you. I'm gonna start this duel with... Let me draw. Um, Elite Goblin Attack Force. And then I'm gonna set one card. Alright. Let's see what you do against that. You'll have to field spell. Ah, you don't have it. Oh, you are just the structure deck, aren't you? The more I look at it, it's just the structure. Oh, never mind. This is the worst deck ever. And by that, I mean the most hated deck ever. Um. Mm, yeah. You know what? I'm going to be a nice guy and make him think he still has them. I'm going to Giant Trunade just because I don't want Rush Recklessly on the field anymore. Um, I'm going to summon Vorse Raider. We're going to go all out. And then we're going to start beating the crap out of him. Pyro monsters with good defense. I can't think of any. Other than Charcoal and Pachi. Yep, Solar Flare. That should always be face up. Big mistake on his part. Especially if you're going to run Nightmare Steel Cage and stuff. You should always play that card face up. Yeah, I truly believe Firefox here just has the structure deck. He's just using the fire structure deck. Which, in the comment section, has mixed results. Because some people say it's amazing and some people say it's bad. I think it's fine. I think the fire structure deck is a fine deck. 
Inferno? No, it's fine. This is getting less fine. Please do not hit Heavy Storm, Jesus Christ. Well, luckily I have four cards in my hand. Really? Really? I had four cards in my hand and you hit Heavy Storm? Well, that's backfire. Uh, I need an Amazonus monster. Shit. Oh, wow. I'd rather you hit Waboku. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm hoping you'll go for Reflect Bounder out of bait. If not, I have to Wabaku. The Wabaku can't save Reflect Bounder. Okay, good. So not only do I get to do maximum 2400 damage, but you die on top of it. So I basically just Magic Cylinder and Sakuretsu Armored at the same time. At the cost of a monster and a Rush Reckless Sleep. Beautiful. Yeah, I'll take 500 for it, but look, they don't got many life points left. If I top deck a monster card next turn... Oh, they'll probably set a monster, never mind. Yeah. And Nightmare Still Cage. And one door of whatever bullcrap. And I lost Heavy Storms and Giant Troon. Oh no, you're not going to do the other one. Thank God. So Nightmare Still Cage is here. Dark Mimic Level 3 is a great card. We're just going to set that. Um, we're going to put you in attack mode where you're safer. And we're going to wait for a new tribute monster. Although I'm pretty sure if it is the structure deck, there's only one other tribute. So, And it takes two monsters. Uh-oh, two monsters. And they're just playing it safe. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. I understand playing it safe. Nothing wrong with that. I understand, and I'm upset. I got Amazon a spider. Um, I do have Wolboku, so I guess I could just set her or summon her. I only have one attack in me, after all, so I gotta make that one attack count. I'm hoping they will get their boss monster, and then I can Amazon a spellcaster them. Nope, just another Inferno. Okay. Eh, it's not the most damage, but I'm going to protect you anyway. I have to do some battle damage, right? And I'll take burn, but at the end of the day, they have less life points than me, so I'll eventually win the duel. I'll just have Amazon and Spider bait them until I win the duel. Bottomless is for emergencies. Elite Goblins are going to have to attack this and then go into defense, but this is their maximum damage, so do it. 600 damage. We're getting closer and closer. You know what? Maybe I'll just draw a magic cylinder. That'll work. And Ukazi. Well, he did let me go first, so I have to win this door. It's going to be very embarrassing. Even though he's playing another stall card. And Premature is very good, because that means he loses life points. It's just a race to the bottom as far as I'm concerned. Bottomless can stop it on top of that, so... Yeah, it works out for me. I didn't have Wabaku to steal his attack points, so it wasn't worth it. Alright, 800 gone. Metal Morph is very good. Um, I'm trying to draw a card, so let me flip this to see if they'll put someone else in attack mode. And I'll hold on to Metal Morph for another turn, just because I want to do maximum damage. So, let's see. Are you going to come after my monster? No, I can't bait them, even with Inferno. Their life points are too low now, they're worried. Oh, I can win by Mask of the Accursed. And this is my other win condition card. Yep, I learned this from Yami Merrick. You just put this on your opponent, and then I win in four turns. Unless he tributes his Inferno, which I said there's only two tributes in the structure deck, and I'm right. The other one is the boss monster. The Infernal Lord card, whatever. Uh, Solemn Judgment could also help, and there we go. Victory is mine. I can win right just like this. And unless they plan on putting someone else in attack mode, I'm going to win just like this. I won't even attack your monsters. I'm such a nice guy. Any play you make gets countered. Any play you make gets countered. I don't care if you have a million stall cards in your deck. I I played. I have this new mask card, and I'm down to use it for, you know, for the rest of this duel. Yeah, see if I go first, I win. I don't even care about Woboku. None of this matters. The duel's over. In two turns, this planet will explode. Oh, you're trying to burn me first? I, I don't think you can do 6,500 burn in time. Not unless you play two Solar Flare Dragons and then did a bunch of other trap stuff. Hey, Amazonist Tiger, good to see ya. So, we now have a Tiger card, and next turn is victory. And I got to summon my Ace Monster, heck yeah. Alright, end my duel. Well, end my turn, which is the end of the duel. So, go ahead and draw your last pathetic card. It will not be your Tribute Monster. 
That could tribute a monster, though, so I'm going to have to Solemn Judgment that. Yeah. That card could tribute a monster, so we're not going to be able to let that happen. I'll admit, that's a play I didn't even think of, but yeah, that does work. And we win. I draw into victory. Exact burn, too. <laughs> Thanks for the duel, little fox guy. Yeah, I'd be mad, too. <laughs> All right, exactly zero, uh, key card bonus, which I just call Ace Monster, and lots of money. All right, I'd like to be earning like 300 a fight, but this, just can't do it. Who are you, unhappy maiden or unhappy girl? Excuse me, I'm sorry, I don't feel well. Maybe in this town. Do you have anything that will recover LP? Yeah, I'll get, I'll probably have a card like that. All right, give me a second, let me see if I can find a card that gives you LP. I mean, we could tribute you for life points, how about that? Uh, you know what? There's a search menu for something like this. Let's just go over here and let's go to LP up. Yep. Uh, let's see. Legit recover LP. Here's a Moon Yan Curry or Red Medicine. That's a good one. I don't want to be rude. Soul Pure is better. That's 800. Yeah, you can have a Soul Pure because you're a pure soul. Oh, do I need to give more? Okay, yeah, no. Soul to Pure is pretty good. Thank you, I feel a bit better. Oh, she need more? I can find some medicine for her if she really needs it. Ooh, Great Angus appeared. Okay, well, we haven't fought this guy yet, though. All right, let's see. Beep, beep, duelist confirmed. Beep, beep, analyzing data. System all clear. Dual preparations have been executed. All right, so let's see if the follow the symbol card, what the hell does that even mean? What symbol? Let's just try to beat this guy up. He's scaring me. Alright, starting the duel. We got ourselves a pretty decent hand, all things considered. Got a little bit better just from that one card. Uh, healing my opponent isn't usually my deal, but we're going first, so I'm happy to do it. Uh, we are going to go ahead and summon the Reflect Bounder. And I'm going to use that to bait out any spells or traps he has. That way my Elite Goblins will be safe to win me the duel. Uh-oh, that's a very problematic card. That is not so problematic. So that one's probably willing to sacrifice itself to do 1,700 damage. And you know what? I understand that. Um, card Trader's pretty good. What, are, what is your deck now? It's not willing to sacrifice itself. They have a trap baiting me in. Interesting. I wasn't expecting a bait trap. That's only for special summon monsters. I'm not... I, I don't special summon in my deck. Other than Mimic into Mimic level 3, I don't special summon. Let's try Chain Master. I'm kind of curious what the hell kind of deck he's running. It doesn't actually make sense so far. Going after Red Gadget. I thought so, but see, I get to keep my Reflect Bounder now. There we go. And Chain Master wanted to die anyway, because now I could stop the, you know, infinite draw. Oh, it got removed from play. I don't get its effect. Yep. All right, that's pretty brutal. Let's just do this. So I'm guessing you run a deck that's all about that Gren Maju card, the card that literally gets buffed from stuff like this. Alright, let's see what you got. Card Trader, don't like that card. Understandable, get yourself a new one. Yellow Gadget time, yep, Yellow Gadget time. Unsurprised. Green Gadget time, you're just getting thinning out your deck so you can get your boss monster. That'll have a ton of attack points thanks to all the remove from play cards. And I don't currently have a card to stop it. We're going to go with Amazon Spider this time. She'd be a little bit safer. Chain Master, I forgot, doesn't work if it doesn't hit the grave. Alright, Yellow Gadget dies. And then the next card might be a problem. Might be. I don't have an answer to the Trap Monster. Oh, that's fine. I'm not happy about it, but it's fine. We can live with it. Amazon Spider's pretty strong. I trust her. You know what, I don't want him feeling like he's in the lead. Let's just burn him. I mean, he's still in the lead, but, you know, he, only by 50. Plus, I have field... I don't even know if I have field advantage. This guy's got everything. Literally, he's got everything he could possibly want. The only advantage I have is I have that exact same trap card ready to go. Alright, I draw. They did not summon Green Gadget face up, which makes me feel like they don't have all the gadget pieces. And Green Gadget only has like 600 fence. Warsberry looked like he had some titties in that scene. 
All right, let's just go ahead and attack with this. And... Oh, shit. I thought they just didn't run any more gadgets. I was wrong. Amazon's fighter can't take damage, though, so that's the good news. But now they can go for a tribute monster, and that's the bad news. So I can get rid of that. I have elite goblins. We're fine. There's the green gadget I was wondering about. And, of course, why wouldn't they just have infinite? It makes sense. The structure deck, you only get one copy, but in this deck, you get three. All right, trap card. Let's see if I get on this tier Heavy Storm to just end this duel. Metal Morph also would have been nice a turn ago, but it's fine. Elite Goblins does the same exact thing, so let's summon them. Um, and let's hope that they don't have a trap for this situation. Banisher die. Yeah, see, we get rid of Banisher. He's fine. Now, we don't want Vorse Raider to die, so we're going to let Amazon Spider go in. Nope, no trap card. Okay. And there still could be a trap monster, though, so let's see if that happens. I attack. Just 1,900? Okay. Well, overall, I've been unimpressed by my opponent. I really hope that they have something more to offer than just this, because I understand you're removing monsters from playing that stops their effects, but, like, what are your actual plans? Like, what's the card trader for? What's the Royal Oppression even for in the end of the day? I don't, I, I, I don't know my opponent's strat. I really don't get it. Paladin, though, I understand that card. That's a simple card. We just kill the opponent. Simple as that. Um, this guy seems to have some defensive cards, so I'm not going to care. I'm just going to go with Fighter. Ah, shit. Okay, I should have real... I thought they would just stop setting, but I guess they have the card already. You know what? Not the card I wanted to Metal Morph, but it's fine. I'd rather just end this duel a little bit faster. Yeah. Plus, well, what's wrong with Fighter being even stronger? Look at her. She's awesome. She's got Tanya vibes, even though Tanya's actually the freaking tiger. Alright, 1900. That's pretty nice. And 1900. That's very nice. And next turn, I summon one more Amazonas card, and my tiger's unstoppable. End turn. So, unless you draw that one remove from play card, which I'll kill anyway, um, there's, it's called Grand Maju something, I can't remember its actual name. Oh, nope, just a gadget. Just a pathetic gadget, in attack mode, ready to die. Okay. Oh, she wants this duel, or he wants, it, it's a creature, it wants this duel to end, so I'm gonna summon my Chain Master. I'm going to put my elites in attack mode, and we're going to end this duel. Elites go first. And 700 damage left. I'm going to give it to Amazonas Paladin with 2,000 attack points. Beautiful. Alright, my opponent has fallen. So far, the fire area, we've taken one loss, though I feel like my opponent had the perfect hand for that. Remove from play bonus, we at least get some extra cash on hand, which is good, because we are not making enough money. Um, another one of him. Let's see if that Great Angus is still around. Wait, is he the only one on the field? No, the girl is. Let's see if we can help her out a little bit. Hey, I, I hear you're sick. Do you still want my help? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't worry. I got, I got you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give me a card. No worries. I'm not trying to let you get hurt. Um, I think Soul of the Pier is the best I got, though. So instead, I'm going to... You know what? Maybe you're just hungry. Here, let's take some curry. Here's some curry. You love curry. I don't even know who you are, but here's some curry. There we go. She's feeling a bit better. That's good. Oh, there's Great Angus. Okay, let's duel Great Angus. Roar! Yeah! Now this is going to be a beater pyro deck for sure. And those decks could be very powerful with Blazing and Pachi and, like... Honestly, even you can just run Festalos, he'll be fine. Yeah, this is probably going to be a really tough duel. Yep, Dolan in the Magma Mountains. I got Gyroid, which is a good start if, um, if I had gone first, but I'm not going first. And this guy is going to do this, which I means I am burning. I am legit burning. I assume one of those cards is Backfire as well. Do I allow the burn to continue, or do I try to bait or murder? You know what? I can burn a little bit right now. We're going to get Mimic out there. We're not going to be aggressive until next turn. Next turn, we're going to get aggressive. And then let's see if he has Dust Tornado. No Dust Tornado? Okay. You bitch. 
Okay, not what I was expecting, but yeah. We'll take the 15. Uh, sure, let's look through our opponent's deck. Okay. Uh, that's... Any spell track card chain for 500 damage. Kita only for fire. Ultimate baseball. This is the exact same deck as that other guy. This is just the structure deck. Yeah. Okay, nothing's changed. That's just the structure deck. Okay. Um, they couldn't make a second deck for Great Angus, I guess. Firefox and him have, like, the same exact deck. Um, overall, yeah, I'd rent, I want this card removed from play. He's kind of annoying. I don't want to get locked. This card, though, he's gonna... He's gonna be his own problem. If he gets the field spell. Without the field spell, I got him. With the field spell, oh boy. Alright, I draw. Um, let's set up Chainmaster. We're not going to be the ones to attack, though, because I'd rather they attack me. And as long as they don't get the field spell, we're good. Plus, I trust that those traps are good. Oh, they got the field spell. They top-decked it. Nothing I can do about that. Which means now I get to see their hand at the cost of even more life points, which is super risky. Mm, maybe. Yeah, this is not good. This is not good. I don't think I want to see their hand anymore. I don't have the life points for it. So, top deck in the field spell is pretty insane, but I'm not angry. I'll figure this out somehow. I always figure a way out of these situations. Next time, I'll just go aggressive and just fight the trap cards, only to find out that the traps were even worse than not attacking. Alright, Sangan, Gyroid, or Amazon Asarcher. Fair 21. I could tie with you with this card if I wanted. But it wouldn't be worth it in the end. Shit. The problem is UFO Turtle threw me off. Sangen doesn't have enough time. Alright, we're gonna set this because I think Molten will attack me and then I can pop UFO because I do not want UFO to be the problem. Yep, okay, good. UFO is a problem and then the rest I can figure out myself. Rush Recklessly, don't worry, we're gonna get a beater monster for you. Amazon's Chainmaster was a good enough beater, but I, the wrong monster attacked me. I didn't want UFO Turtle to attack me. That would have just given them Little Chimera, and then I would have lost the duel. Oh, they could do that. Okay, well, shit. I don't have a counterplay to Call of the Haunted. So that's what one of the trap cards would have done if I had played aggressively. Interesting. I bet you they were just waiting for Molten Behemoth to hit the grave. What would the other trap card have done? Yeah, you guys just totally have the same deck, don't you? Look at him. Waboku. Interesting. Alright. I'm gonna summon you. I'm gonna find out what that trap was. Okay, maybe other than Call of the Haunted, I think I'd be okay. If I had played aggressively against this deck. Main phase two, we got Waboku, which will hold the field if we need it. Okay. Shit. 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 Little Chimera play, I lose. Okay. Well, uh, that that was uh, not good. That was not good. It's the same deck as Foxfire, though. There's no difference between Great Angus and Foxfire. That is 100% the same deck. Uh, we're going to rush recklessly, which uh, still makes us lose the duel, but at least we tried. And that's game. No disrespect to my opponent, Great Angus. They fought hard, and they deserved the victory. Although, even if I had gone aggressively, that UFO turtle would eventually happen, and Little Chimera would have been threatened, and I would have lost. I can accept that, L. Alright, alright, you're pretty decent, but I want a rematch. Give me one more fight against you. So, in the fire area, we've lost to Foxfire and Great Angus, which is the same deck, so it's like losing the same guy twice. Our decks are back and forth. Okay, I'm going second. Ugh, I do not like going second, but we'll have to make do. Okay, a little bit interesting hand. I can maybe make this work. That scares the crap out of me, but maybe I'll draw a giant Trunade, MST, or Heavy Storm. All they have is one set card with bad defense because of their own freaking card. Um, we're going to burn them just to show them what I can do. Haha. <laughs> Then we are going to play Amazon's Paladin. Normally I'd save my best monster, but in this case, because I don't think they'll... Oh, it's probably UFO Turtle. No, it's Hito. Why? Is, do, does that mean they don't have a good hand? Because Hito is not a good choice. Alright, if they don't have a good hand, then I do, and we're ready. Sangan makes this hand even better. 
So we're pretty much set. And if they heavy storm, they'd have to kill their own molten. So I'm feeling pretty confident. Oh, fuck. I didn't think they'd actually do it. Is 4,000 life points worth keeping shrink? You know what? They're, they played a bad monster, so I assume they don't even have anything else. Yeah, I'm fine. I assume their hand is trash. Exactly. They can't do anything. Oh, but they combo into it. Okay, yeah. Well, that's happened twice to me now. I'd rather lose the Mimic, honestly. Sangan is probably going to help me more. Okay. Um. Hmm. We'll figure this out. That's not good. Hita literally was the only monster they probably could have summoned. And that's what they... Oh, really, game? Come on. Come on. You're trying to insult me now? That's embarrassing. All right, Sangan. Sadly, we don't have any floaters yet, so we need to see if we can beat this guy. Because Sangan usually would get me into a floater, which would usually get me into, like, a Jinzo or something. But, yeah, I don't really have anything, so i got to think of a different way. Old Vindictive just to go old school? Yeah, go old school. Yep, it's the best play I have right now. Old man earbug strats. you got to do it sometimes. Highly doubt that trap will matter, and next turn I can Swordswoman. Okay. Should be fine. Unless they get Nobleman again, but what are the odds they get both? There's only one in their deck, so what are the odds they get it twice? Oh, shit. I increased. Yep, they just drew it with Jar Greed. They just drew it with Jar Greed! Holy shit, that's crazy. That's actually crazy how unlucky I'm getting. Oh, my God. I mean, even if I Heavy Storm, they just change Har Greed, so the Heavy Storm would not have mattered. Okay, let's draw a Spellcaster somehow. No? Okay. Um, I do not like this situation. We're going to set this because I don't want him attacking it with a weak monster like Molten Behemoth or something. Or Molten Zombie, whatever it's called. Foxfire? Yeah, you wouldn't attack with Foxfire. Alright, Swordswoman can take care of Foxfire. I'm trying to draw Amazon as Spellcaster. It is a card that can get me out of this situation. Look, if he's allowed to top deck exactly when he needs, right when he needs it, why can't I? Heart of the cards. You know what? I'm desperate, so yeah. Heart of the cards thins out my deck. I kind of am curious about his hand, but not uh, curious enough to lose all my life points. Swordswoman, we're running out of options here, so you're just going to need to... Yeah. Try to put some damage down. I know Foxfire will just come back, but it can't be tributed anyway. Except by, like, Ultimate Baseball Kid. Alright, we're doing some damage back to our opponent. That's the good news. Bad news is, I don't think he cares. <laughs> yeah, I don't think he cares. He's just out-damaging us. My deck is not built for attack points. And he only runs one, two tributes. One Thestalos and one freaking other card, but he gets it every time. Even the Foxfire got it every time. Okay, let's see. It's a slow loss, but it's doable. It's probably backfire. But it could be Heavy Storm. Oh, wait. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, so Metal Morph. I just need any monster card, basically, and I can win with Metal Morph. But if I try to save this card and they get a buffing card or an ultimate baseball kit, I lose the duel. But if I kill Foxfire, it's the same problem. They'll just get it. So it's better to just set this. And then I pray I draw a monster or I steal a monster from my opponent's hand. If they don't get a monster and I have the life points to spend. Okay, I have the life points to spend. I can steal a monster. It's a little risky, but at the end of the day, I need any monster card to beat Festalos. So let's find out what we're working against. Well, he can't Meteor of Destruction me anymore, but Dust Tornado is not good. I lost either way. I now know the Metal Morph play won't work. Well, shit. <laughs> Normally, I'd just go in because I know Metal Morph would win me the duel, but now I know I doesn't matter. Wait, what if I wait until the last possible second? No. Damage step. Are you fast enough for damage step? It probably is. It doesn't matter. None of this matters. Okay, it did matter. He didn't dust tornado me when he had the chance. 
and you lose a card, Inferno. Honestly, I'm glad I hit Inferno. That's the card that cost me this duel at the very beginning. Now I just gotta hope that, uh... Well, now I know... Oh, shit. Did he keep area and limit level B? Yeah, he did. That was the one card he kept. Or limit level limit area B. It doesn't matter. Ah, oh, crap. Um... Yeah, I need to get a burn card onto Foxfire. Where's my Mask of the Accursed? And, okay, that's fine. I'm not afraid of his freaking level. He, I don't even think he, other than Ultimate Baseball Kid, we're fine. That is something I didn't expect and is a problem. UFO Turtle doesn't matter. Yeah, that is something unexpected and is a problem. Um, we're going to wall the coup just in case. We might draw MST. We might draw... Giant Trunade, I think we don't have anything else other than that. Shit. Are they weak enough where they wouldn't want to attack a face-down monster? That's my only hope now. Unless they draw another field spell. Oh, nope, there's the kid. Yep, that's game. The kid ends every duel. Oh my god, I can't beat this guy very easily. I need to... Oh, I don't have any better cards than the cards I have now. Mm. I could just make a beater deck and take out the Amazonas joke. I just wanted to have some deck that had some semblance of a, you know, deck idea. Yikes. Okay. But it won't work if I just get beat to death. Yep, he can use it for tribute. Use the other two. And that's game. Damn. That structure deck is brutal. Kind of rude that they gave the same deck to two characters, but it's brutal. All right, we're going to have to take that L. We're going to wear it proud. Next episode, guys, I'll have a little bit more of an edited deck. Um, see you all then.